Good morning. Uh, this video is not live. Uh, I just woke up. The Lord was speaking to me uh, in the spirit this morning. It is a warning to all inhabitants of the of the land. But first, before I get started, um, I'm trying to wake up uh, my coffee. Um, my my, I, I love uh, coffee once in a while in the morning to get me going to start my day. Uh, thank you, Lord, for all, um, er, for this ministry, for everything that is going on in the world. Uh, thank you for just being there um, for us. Uh, many um, are receiving miracles now. I believe miracles um, that that um, are happening at the last moments here. Because God is faithful, He wants the children to be encouraged. So before I get started, I'm going to say a prayer. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, I now rebuke, break, and loose myself, this ministry from any and all evil curses, fetishes, charms, vexes, hexes, spells, every jinx, all psychic powers, sorcery, bewitchments, enchantments, witchcraft, love potions and psychic prayers that but put upon me and this live stream family i break and loose myself from any and all and connected or related spirits from any person or persons or from any occult or psychic sources i ask you heavenly father to return them to the senders now 10 times over let him that loves cursing receive it unto himself amen Amen. I was speaking to the Lord uh, early this morning in the spirit. Um, he told me uh, a, a couple things. Um, he did tell me what to read and he wanted me, it was a warning. He wanted me to put this up today. So I knew immediately that um, he wanted me to put this up. I am not a watchman on the wall. I am a messenger of God. I am not a watchman on the wall. I am a messenger of God. Um, I Yes, I do watch and, and share things with you. But the Lord wanted me to, sh to, to speak this again. I am not a watchman on the wall. I am a messenger of God. So I'm going to um, speak to you what the Lord said to me. And then... Um, I'm going to uh, play a song at the end, and I'm going to end this video. So re remind you all, um, think about what you're doing at this time in, the, in spirit and in truth, because the clock is ticking. Those who have the love of money and material things, it's going to be all destroyed by nuclear fire. It's all going to be destroyed by nuclear fire in an instance. In one day and one hour, everything changes. Everything changes. In one day and one hour, everything is going to change. Uh, for, for the person that came through in a big way to bless this ministry, you know who you are. Your rewards are great in the kingdom of God. Um, I still need uh, the ministry to continue until the trumpet blast. So those of you that have not sent in your tithes or offerings, please do. Uh, this ministry has to continue. We have bills to pay here. Uh, lights, uh, electricity, uh, internet, all that needs to be paid still. So thank you um, so much for all your, um, the handful of supporters that have sent in your uh, tither offering um, every month. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, it's just not enough to continue. So I need to, to be able to continue till the day. So thank you, Lord. Thank you in advance, Lord. Okay, so the, uh, the Lord was speaking to me. He told me he wanted me to read Zephaniah 1. And I knew immediately um, I had to, 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 to put this up. I knew in the spirit. I knew... Um, um, it was coming from the Lord. I don't play around with messages or anything or dreams or visions. Um, I'm very careful with what I do on here. I do not put up anything, even dreams 
that people flock to um, that that speak all this crazy stuff. I don't. Um, I'm very careful with with anything I put up on here because I'm going to stand before a holy God and make an account. So I will not put up anything that's be leading people astray or false. There are many channels right now putting up things that are not of the Lord. And, and they are putting up messages day after day after day. It's not from the Lord. It's from the evil one. We need to have great discernment and discern the times we are in. We are in great deceit. Um, all the people that, when you're, when you're on videos, looking at videos of people that have all these followers and they're writing books and doing all this stuff, it's not, um, there's something uh, you have to understand there. Um, if it's about money, it's not holy. And, and Jesus, if you love money, the love of money, the love of the Father is not in you. If you love money, the love of the Father is not in you. I do not love mammon. This ministry barely continues to go, to move forward. Um, it needs to, the thing is, it, even if a few people gave $20, a few people gave $20, like maybe $200 a month, it, it, it would be enough, 200 people a month, it would be enough to continue. But people are not giving, not even $20. So, uh, this ministry needs to continue until the trumpet blast. So I'm going to read the in the book of Zephaniah. Um, I'm being led by the Holy Spirit. Uh, nothing but the Holy Spirit at this time. Okay, so I'm in the book of Zephaniah chapter 1. The Lord told me to read chapter 1 immediately after to put it up on YouTube. The word of the Lord which came unto Zephaniah, the son of Cushi, the son of Gedaliah, the son of Amariah, the son of Hezekiah, in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. I will utterly consume all things from off the land, saith the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea. And the stumbling blocks with the wicked, and I will cut off man from off the land, saith the Lord. I will also stretch out my hand upon Judah and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And I will cut off the remnant of Baal from this place. And the name of the Chemrims with the priests, um, and them that worship the host of heaven upon the housetops, and them that worship and that swear by the Lord, and that swear by Malcolm, and them that are turned back from the Lord, and those that have not sought of the Lord, not inquired for him. Hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is at hand, for the Lord has prepared a sacrifice. He has bid his guests. I'm going to repeat that part. He has bid his guests. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all su such as are clothed with strange apparel. In the same day also will I punish all those that leap on the threshold, which fill their master's houses with violence and deceit. That's happening right now. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that there shall be no noise of a cry from the fish gate, and a howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. How ye inhabitants of Mactish, for all the merchant people are cut down, all they, all they that bear silver are cut off. And it shall come to pass in that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles, and punish the men that are settled on their lees, that say in their heart, The Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Therefore their goods shall become a booty, and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. The great day of the Lord is near, it is near, and hastens greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. 
The day is a day of rest, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men, and they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as the dung. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to, to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall become devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Guys, this is a time to not be playing church, saying, I, I follow Jesus in spirit and in truth, but you're, you're not. You're, you're following man. Many are following man and not believing in the Lord's words. Um, we need to be in spirit and in truth and do the Lord's will while we're still here. Because you know what? The, um, the day of judgment is near and the day of uh, rejoicing and, and celebrating the marriage supper of the Lamb with the uh, reward ceremony for all those that have done the Lord's will here are going to receive awards and the uh, ceremony. It's going to be uh, joyous and glorious. And um, we are near to that. We are near to that now. So I'm asking at this point, do the Lord's will. All money, uh, the love of money, material things uh, are all going to be wiped out, destroyed here shortly. They're going to be wiped out and destroyed. The Son of Man, Jesus Christ, Yahshua HaMashiach, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, is coming quickly. Amen. I love you all. The Midnight Cry will be going home. I love you all. I hear the sound. Like, share, and subscribe. Like and share this video. Thumb it up. Give me a thumbs up. We need this to be shared with many. The clock is ticking. Than it's ever been. I can almost hear the Father. Gable sounds the call. Oh, oh, oh. And at the midnight cry, we'll be going home. That's right. When Jesus steps out.
Jesus. Woo, Jesus. Jesus. Wow. tell you what um, I am very encouraged um, by the message today very very encouraged um, it's been very discouraging here um, many many things have been discouraging and man has let me down big time but God knows God knows all hearts and intentions um, and God always makes a way but I'll tell you what, um, many are getting ready to be judged by God. And we are um, close to that day. And I'll tell you what, I would not want to be uh, on the fence wondering um, one way or another if, I'm, if my soul is going to a good place or my soul is going to a bad place. There's only to, don't let the... Um, religion deceive you there is only two places heaven or hell there's no in between you choose which destination you're going i i say at this point to, to come to the lord jesus christ surrender all to him say this salvation prayer mean it in your heart and soul i have it in the description box mean it in your heart and soul and you shall be saved you shall be saved um for all those that follow this ministry, um, I will be live a week from today. Yeah, a week from today. I will be live on the 27th. Yeah, the 27th, I think it is. I want to make sure. Um, yep, the 27th, I will be live uh, 3 p.m. Uh, to 6 p.m. Lord willing, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. I love you all. God bless you. Soon and very soon, guys, we're going to see the king. Amen. Bye-bye.